What's up guys, Brian Grant of ContestChampion.com here, and quick little announcement before we get into this video, I will actually be at Comic-Con, like, today. Uh, I can get about three or so hours of sleep if I get this video out fast enough, so I'm going to fly right on through. One last thing though, there is a chance, I, I'm not going to say it's definite, there's a chance that you may see me appear on Seed and Man of Legends with some, uh, some live Comic-Con footage. So we'll see. We're, we're trying to figure it out, but uh, of course neither of us have ever done this before, so it'll be interesting. But anyway, onto this video, I'm going to show you the shortest paths for uh, Kabam's newest event quest, which is, of course, the Pandemonium Rising. And we'll just dive right in here and get to the first map. Okay, this is Chapter 1, Quest 1, and all you're going to do is take this path that I have highlighted here for you guys along the right side to the boss, and we'll check out the next map. Okay, this is still chapter one, but quest number two, and once again, you'll just have to follow this highlighted path along the left side this time around. And this map, even though it may appear that there's only three different paths to actually take, there is four. How annoying. Next map. Here we are in chapter two, quest one, and all you have to do is take this highlighted path here. It is a very short path, and that'll take you to the next map. Alright, Chapter 2, Quest 2, and once again, just take this highlighted path that I have here for you guys. And, of course, Kabam puts two health potions there after I already completed it. Those were not there the first time. Okay, Chapter 3, Quest number 1, and you're just going to take the highlighted path all the way along the right side of the map. It's not too long, actually, and this will lead to the final map. Alright, here we are in the final map. This is, of course, Chapter 3, Quest Number 2. And, as always, you can just take the path that I have highlighted here for you in the center of the screen. And, uh, that'll take you to the final boss for this event. There are a couple of things that I wanted to point out real quick, though. There are a couple of class gates in this map, and I believe it's only this map. I, I went back and double-checked everything. This is the only two gates that I saw. There's a skill one up here. And down towards the bottom right corner here, we have a science gate that'll take you, uh, through that path. Um, another thing is that this map is actually huge. There are eight paths on this one, and uh, I believe there's normally only seven. A little bit too lazy to check my previous spreadsheets. And uh, speaking of spreadsheets, let's, let's just go right to the energy spreadsheet right now. Okay, very quickly, let's talk energy for a minute. Uh, beginner, to get through all of beginner, it's going to cost 894 total energy. I definitely do not recommend spending all of this energy in beginner. What I do recommend is a single playthrough of beginner taking the shortest paths, which I just highlighted for you guys. It's the biggest reason why I do this video, so that you guys can take advantage of the unit gain, the tremendous unit gain. Well, sort of tremendous. All right, it's only 60 units, but it only costs 111 energy, so that's not too bad at all. To get through all of normal, it's going to be 1367 total energy, and this may be worth it for some people, but if it's not worth it to you, then what I do recommend is just playing the first three quests of normal, and that's only going to run you 53 total energy, and you'll gain 30 units from it. Not too bad, especially... Guys, if, you're, if your uh, champions are tied up in the Alliance War and Alliance Quest and stuff like that, take advantage of these two things during that time. It's, you can bring in two-star champions and do fine. All right, to get through all of Heroic, it'll be 1367 energy as well. To get through all of Master, it's going to be 1502 total energy. And uh, these two combined, the Heroic and Master, whoops, the Heroic and Master is going to be 2869 total energy, which comes out to about 41 refills if you have a uh, 70 energy cap. Uh, so that, that brings the total of doing all of Heroic and Master and these two things that I've highlighted here for you guys to just over 3000 energy. You definitely do not need to buy refills. You can get that done at a fairly casual pace in about three weeks. Uh, you can definitely do it in, you can do it in almost two weeks if you're playing like a madman uh, and get some, some help from your alliance on energy. Um, but yeah, three weeks should be no problem. Um, to 100% all difficulties, which again I don't recommend doing, it's over 5,000 energy. Spend it somewhere else, guys. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy this event, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, I gotta catch some Z's for Comic-Con. Hopefully I can make those videos happen. Um, again, check out Seton's channel. Uh, I, I'm going to include a link in the description, but I'm sure 
I'm sure most of you have uh, have seen his stuff before. We're gonna try to make it happen, guys. If if it either way, whether I can make it happen with him or not, um, I will have some footage to show you guys uh, once once the whole thing is done. I'm also gonna be checking out the uh, the Saturday uh, community party thing. So maybe I'll see some of you guys there. That would be pretty crazy if I did. Uh, but yeah, until next time, guys. Thank you for watching and take care.